Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just another video to give you a quick heads up that if you are still using Windows 8.1, that the operating system will reach end of support on the 10th of January 2023. And this means that you have got just under two months before the operating system reaches its end of life. And that means that after the 10th of January going forward next year, you won't receive any monthly security and quality updates. And also you will not get any more technical assistance from Microsoft for Windows 8.1. Now the 10th of January, if we just head to the calendar quickly, is the second Tuesday, which means that will be the last patch Tuesday that you get and receive any security updates for Windows 8.1. And also Microsoft has noted that they will not be offering an extended security update, also known as an ESU program for Windows 8.1. So no extended security updates will be made available for Windows 8.1. So just take note of that. Now, um, if you are still running a device with Windows 8.1, you most probably would have started to see the end of support warnings being displayed um, in the operating system as I have been posting on over the last month or two. And that's obviously Microsoft trying to get your attention um, to move on to a newer version of Windows. Now there are three options available for using a supported version of Windows after the 10th of January if you are still running a device with Windows 8.1. Obviously uh, Microsoft recommends a new PC with Windows 11. So that means you go out and you buy a new PC which has Windows 11 pre-installed but that, that may not be the optimum solution for a lot of users which takes us to the next option. That means that you can install Windows 11 on your current PC. Now it goes without saying that I don't think a lot of Windows 8.1 devices will meet the minimum system requirements to run Windows 11 which means it may be easier for you to first upgrade to Windows 10 and then upgrade to Windows 11, which moves us on to the third point, which means you'll have to install Windows 10 on your current PC, which is more likely to support the Windows 10 minimum system requirements than the Windows 11 system requirements. Now, as I have mentioned previously, Windows 10 is still available and will be supported until the 14th of October um, in 2025 and I personally don't think that Microsoft will end support for Windows 10 in 2025 but nonetheless um, if your PC does meet the minimum system requirements for Windows 10 which it most probably will if you are still running Windows 8.1 you can then purchase and download a full version of Windows 10 Home or Pro and you can also check if your retailer still has a copy um, of Windows 10 for sale. So you the upgrade from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 will not be a free upgrade. You cannot just head over to Windows Update and install Windows 10. And um, you'll have to purchase a new copy, be that downloading Windows 10 Home or Pro from the internet, or as mentioned, checking if any retailer still has a copy of Windows 10. But those are basically your options if you are still running and using Windows 8.1, because after the 10th of January next year, just under two months from now, and that operating system will have reached its end of life. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.